okay this is actually uh, quite a complicated bit of code um, which I probably would go ahead to some of the others uh, and come back to this if you're struggling you need to be quite happy with object oriented programming um, to understand this and be happy because I haven't used the complete same format as I have as the base structure for Pygame alright so don't stress about this and this is, this is also in no way perfect but what we've got here is we've got a button class okay so um, and then here we've got the constructor of that button class and it's going to specify a few things like the coordinates so x and y position and a width and a height and then it's going to have a color and a surface of where it's going to be drawn onto okay and then it sets them as the object properties uh, or attributes then we've got two methods we've got an is press method okay which does a couple of things so as you're in pi game it gets the mouse position okay then it's the mouse position comes back as um, a list of two positions x and y so the first one is sets that to mouse x the second one it sets that to mouse y okay then it says if mouse x is greater than self dot x so self dot x remember is the starting position of our um, square which we're creating as a button then it's saying if it is is it also is mouse x also less than the uh, x position plus the width so basically is it within the left hand side and the right hand side of our rectangle if it is it then does the same thing with y okay so is mouse y greater than self dot y and then if it is is mouse y greater than uh, less than self dot y plus self dot height so that's a way of checking to see if your mouse is inside of that box if it is um, mouse click equals pi game dot mouse dot get press which gets mouse buttons that are pressed and it will look at the left click specifically okay if left if left click is true if it's one um, then it changes color okay self dot color equals zero 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 and then it's going to return true otherwise it's going to return false okay and then self dot color will be something else um, and then draw button here is just like we've done before so you're drawing a rectangle to the screen and then dot flip which is displaying it and then what we've got here is we've got we've put those inside a um, method inside an object which is slightly different from what you've done before but all it does is here we make a screen then we fill it with a color and um, then we here we make a button look so button one equals and we're calling our class button we're passing it the parameters that it's asking for which is um, the x y width and height 160, 160, 80, 80, then a color 230, 230, 230, and then a surface we're passing a screen. So that's going to create the button. We're then drawing the button onto the screen, which is calling that draw button method. Okay, and then what we've got here is we've got an event. So now we've got a new event. So we've got if button one dot is pressed, which is this method here. If it's if it is pressed, it's going to say hello. If it's not uh, sorry if it's not if it is press it will say hello um, and if the event dot type equals quit it will quit and exit the system so when we run this we get a really basic I'm just going to move the shell over as well so you can see there hello we get a really basic shape it's detecting every time my mouse goes in but you can't see anything happening however if I click hello if I click on it it does hello there are issues with this though okay and um, the issues are if I click down and move around it detects every one as a different click and you can see the uh, shells going mental so I might need to have a variable and uh, maybe like a class variable inside so watch the class variables uh, video of object oriented programming that I could set to sort of true or false so if you click once maybe you could then set to unfalse when you release or something like that there's there's different ways you can do that um, but that's just showing you a really basic button and I'll be honest making buttons is one of the uh, fundamental drawbacks of Pi game when compared to some other um, GUI sort of modules like tkinter and things like that but in many other ways Pi game is is better than those other ones you would use in Python